Hi, welcome to Mamas and Mannies. I'm your host, Trina. This is a short form podcast for mamas that are looking for a quick burst of me time. But before we get started, as always, make sure you hit that like button and share this with another mama so she can get in some tips this week to help her run the kitchen a little bit smoother. But as always, we're going to go ahead and start off with a motivational quote or motivational mantra, however you want to look at it. This week's motivational quote is actually going to be, hopefully the, life is like the wind. You can't see it, but you can feel it. Again, that quote is, life is like the wind. You can't see it, but you can feel it. So just think about that, even though you can't see your life happening, like you can't see the future, you can see the past, but you can't see the future, you can definitely feel the present. And sometimes you can feel the past depending on what the situation is. But guess what time it is? It's mama time. This week's mama time is actually going to be a little bit different than usual, It's not going to be a direct self-care tip. It's actually going to be more of like a self-maintenance tip. I don't want to say self because it doesn't have anything to do per se with you as a mama. It's more of running the household and household management. I'm just going to talk about the importance of a clean kitchen. So definitely having a clean kitchen helps to keep away bugs, helps to make sure you have a clean, sanitary kitchen when you are ready to cook, especially if you are doing potlucks at work. You don't want to have a nasty kitchen. You don't want your area to be nasty, your dishes and your pots to be nasty, and you're trying to serve food to somebody else. Somebody going to get sick, so don't do that. Please, mama, don't do that. And then, of course, A clean kitchen is going to help you make your dinners, your lunches, your breakfasts, any meal, help it run more smoothly, especially if you are a meal prepping mama. It's definitely going to help if you have your counter space clear or if you have things on your counter, making sure there is actually things that you use on a regular basis. So that was tip number one making sure that you understand why it's important to have a clean and organized kitchen. Number two, I'm only going to go over a few of them. Number two is to establish a good cleaning routine. So what I do in the morning is I get up and wipe down the counters just to make sure there's nothing left on the counter. I put out a clean dishcloth and a clean drying towel And I also make sure there's nothing in the sink or anything like that. If the dishwasher needs to be emptied, I go ahead and do that. I don't leave dishes in the sink. So if you are doing that, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But I'm not here to judge you. But I just think for me, dirty dishes, dirty dishes, (laughs) dirty dishes plays with my um, mindset. Because I feel like if I'm going to bed with dirty dishes, I have unfinished business. If I wake up with dirty dishes, same thing. I feel like I have unfinished business. So if that's your cleaning routine, and then also before I start cooking, if I have any dirty dishes, like from a meal we just ate or just throughout the day, like maybe it's a knife in the sink or something like that, I'll go ahead and if it's not dishwasher safe, wash that. If it is dishwasher safe, I'll go ahead and just drop it in a dishwasher to make sure I have a clean sink and open counters to go ahead and start cooking. At the end of the night, once I'm done cooking, I go ahead and wipe down the stovetop, wipe down the counters, sweep the floor, make sure there's no dust or not dust, crumbs or debris on the floor. And I go ahead and clean out the sink with a cleaning solution. I actually use Fabuloso or like some cleaning wipes. I think we have Lysol cleaning wipes. And I go ahead and put away my dishcloth and my drying cloth. And that's actually it. That's all I do. So I want to make sure everything is clean before I go to bed. 
And definitely comment below and let us know what your cleaning routine is. What do you do? Do you wash dishes every day? I actually don't wash dishes every day. I'll do every other day because sometimes you can let it get too full and then it just gets crazy. You can't really put dishes in there. It's too full. So just let us know, are you washing dishes every day? Do you hand wash dishes? That's a really good question. I used to hand wash dishes because we grew up without a dishwasher. When I met my husband, um, he made it seem like it was actually a sin to hand wash dishes. <laughs> so I think I even had a dishwasher at the apartment I was living in when I first met him. I used to hand wash my dishes and use the dishwasher to let my dishes dry, which is so funny. <laughs> but needless to say, when we got married, I used to use the dishwasher. It's actually quicker. I think it is less stress on you um, because you don't have to worry about dishes in the sink and things like that. So I am a team dishwasher. S the next step is to think about some organizational strategies or things that will help you stay organized, whether that is, you know, if you have a silverware drawer, make sure you get one of those like caddy things that fits the knives, forks, and spoons. That's a great way to keep those organized. If you, and what I do, I have a drawer for like gallon sandwich bags, um, parchment paper, and plastic wrap. So I have a drawer for that and they fit in there perfectly. And then also we have a drawer for, I put my dish towels and dip and, dish cloths and drying towels in a drawer also. And then we have another drawer that has, these are loose, but like measuring cups and serving spoons and things like that. So is that an organizational um, strategy that you want to use? We also have another drawer where we have like cookie cutters, other um, wooden spoons and things like that. And we have that in an organizational caddy as well. So do you use any type of organizational caddies? Do you have like the clear um, see-through containers that sit on top of the cabinet, not cabinet, that sit on top of the counter so you can keep your everyday use things like sugar or if you have one for salt, any type of seasonings, flour, rice, things that you use, kind of like those bulk ingredients. That's also another great way to keep your kitchen clean. And if you have something really cute too, it doesn't really have to be functional, but if it's also cute and it helps to keep you motivated, like I have a fake flower. I think I got it from Ross. I have had it since that same apartment I mentioned earlier without, well, they had the dishwasher, but I wasn't using it. Is nice, is pretty, is very basic. Before, when people used to come over to visit me, they always thought it was a real plant. Just recently, about a year and a half ago, somebody was like, oh, you should put your plants away so it doesn't cause um, like little gnats or whatever. And I was like, actually, that's um, a fake plant. And they were like, that plant? So, you know, just things like that is not functional whatsoever, but it just gives me a nostalgic feeling. First of all, it helps me to remember um, when I had my own apartment. I was about to say apartment. It helps me to remember when I had my own apartment. I've had it so long, so it's just so nice and pretty. I love to have it in the kitchen with me. And the final tip to keeping a clean kitchen to help with um, just a smooth kitchen routine is having cleaning supplies and tools that actually motivate you to clean. I don't have any cleaning supplies. Well, uh, I use Fabuloso. And then uh, depending on what it is, I do have bleach. I don't use bleach all the time. But tools, I don't have any cleaning tools. I just use, to clean the sink, I'll use a wipe. Um, I don't like a sponge in the kitchen because I just, I don't, wash my dishes with a sponge. I actually just use a dishcloth. And then, like I said, I get a new one each day. So I really don't have any cleaning tools. The only thing I do use is like a dust mop. And then I also use a 
and it's not really a dust mop. It, um, I think it doubles as a dust mop and a regular mop if we have spills. And I also have like a Swiffer. It's not a Swiffer. It's not Swiffer brand. It's actually a tool that I got from Amazon. And I use that to clean the floors with. It's the exact same concept as a Swiffer, but it has an actual, it has cloth pads instead of those uh, throwaway pads that Swiffer has. So it's really eco-friendly. So those were just a few tips. First, understanding why you need a clean kitchen or a workflow accessible, easy to work in kitchen. Number two is making sure you actually have a cleaning routine that you can stick to. Three is organizational strategies such as those caddies you can use. Do you organize your drawers? Do you have spices, sweet stuff? Do you keep your medicine um, up there? Do you have a pantry? How do you organize your pantry? I would really love to hear comments on that. And then the final one is cleaning supplies and tools. So what I can do is create a list. I think I actually created a list on Amazon and include that. So you'll see just some different cleaning supplies and tools and things that would actually help you in the kitchen. They have plenty of organizational bins that you can use for the refrigerator. But I would be curious to see if they have other organizational bins for cabinets. So comment below. Let us know what you do in your kitchen to keep it nice, clean, um, a great flow. Make sure you hit that like button. Share this with another mama. Hit the bell for notifications so you'll know when we come out with our episodes on Monday. Share your comments. I would love to hear what you do in your kitchen. Your kitchen your kitchen. And as always, remember that me time is essential and it is never selfish. Have a great clean kitchen week, mama.